Hey there you guys. <laughs> I know, you've probably seen a lot of videos with me wearing this shirt. It's because I'm doing a lot of videos right now. I could do them all at once and uh, and I have them all in the same video, but it'd be a really, really long video. I know some of you like to have long videos, but I kind of don't. Uh, some of them need to be long, and I get that, but I want to do individual videos for individual steps, individual projects, individual whatever. So anyway, what we're going to do today is repot an Oncidium orchid. This Oncidium has been growing in its pot for, I guess, about a year. This is a yellow Oncidium. Uh, they call it a dancing lady's orchid uh, because the little, uh, the little yellow flowers look like a little lady in a dress dancing around. Um, it looks a little worse for wear. It was a discounted orchid when I bought it. I think I bought it for $5 and uh, actually split it into two plants. Um, this is one of the two plants, and uh, as you can see, it's got all kinds of roots hanging all over the place, and we got some nice green tips on the end of the roots here. But uh, this is why we need to repot it. It's because the stuff that once was in the pot, well, it kind of still is in the pot, but the new growth is going off this way, and uh, it's no longer in the pot. So the ones that are actually mattering, they do, or the ones that actually matter, aren't getting the nutrients from in the soil. Like when I water this, I water the soil or the, the media and I try to put the roots in the water, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transplant this so that the, uh, these roots are in their new little home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this orchid pot. Um, these are new to me. Uh, a lot of orchid growers use these. Got good air circulation. Uh, clear so you can see the roots, you can see what's happening. So I'm excited to try to use these. So I've made my own little mix of asphagnum moss and some orchid bark. And uh, I've got it right here, pre-moistened. I like to use pre-moistened mix. Actually, I should uh, get some more of the asphagnum moss and pre-moisten it because I'm going to put a little bit on the top. I like to use a little bit of mo uh, moss on the top to keep the uh, the roots at the surface or that are coming out of the plant a little bit more moist. So anyway, come on down here and uh, we'll get to it. Let's uh, let's do some transplanting of Oncidium orchids. Okay, this pot really won't even stand up on its own. It's time for a repot for sure. I said it was five dollars, but I was wrong. It was nine ninety nine. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove it from its pot. There's probably not a lot of roots holding it in, but we'll check it out. I'm just going to remove all the, uh, the old media. The roots are looking okay. Generally at this point we will, uh, we'll take away some of these, uh, damaged roots. Let me see if I can find uh, some scissors here. There we go. Got some scissors. Always use sterilized scissors uh, because you don't want to pass any uh, any virus or bacterial infection to any of your other orchids or any of your other plants. To sterilize them, just uh, run them through with some uh, rubbing alcohol. Just uh, removing as much as I can. If you don't get everything, that's okay. What we really want is for these beautiful white roots to find their way into some soil or some, uh, some media. So what we're going to do, I've got this new mix. I'm going to throw a handful or two in here. And this type of orchid is an interesting one because this is the oldest bulb or pseudo bulb and then there's this one 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 and it's starting to already put out a new one right here. So it will follow a chain right along this way. So we want to have the oldest bulb to the back 
and so we have some space for the new growth that is going to go the other way. And do your best to get all the roots in there. I've got everything in there as, as best as I can. And then we're just going to fill it in. Be gentle with it. Not too gentle. You want to get rid of uh, the big air pockets. And you also want to make the, the plant feel secure. If you're not... Uh, if you're not a little bit forceful with it, uh, the plant itself will will be wobbling around and it just won't respond as well. So we want to make it nice and snug here in the pot. And you want to keep the, the level of media to the, the base of the pseudo bulbs. Sometimes if you if you plant them too deep, well, anytime if you plant them too deep, you will get rot. So just uh, just be aware of where your plant's growing and how it looks and and do it uh, do it accordingly. Plant it accordingly. So here we go. Uh, as you can see, we've got the pseudo bulb here, and they're here, and then another here, and here, and here, and uh, this is where the new stuff is coming out. I'll probably have to either remove some of these old pseudo bulbs in time and then move the plant over again, but that won't be for another year or two. Um, so we've got uh, a little bit of space here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this moistened uh, sphagnum moss, I'm just going to put it along the, the soil surface. This way it'll keep the, uh, the plant a little bit moist, or the roots a little bit moist, but not too moist, that they rot. There's good air circulation through the sides of the pot. That is a, uh, a plus. And here we go. It's as simple as that. Oh my gosh. A bunch of you uh, say how easy I make orchids look to grow. And it really is easy. Uh, but I say that and you guys can grow African violets. I bring up African violets again because I can't grow African violets for the life of me. They always die. They always look like heck. But uh, orchids, they, uh, they're where it's at for me. You kind of grow what you can. So anyway, if you have an orchid that's uh, that's doing a crazy thing, maybe you can uh, think about repotting it. This one doesn't have any flowers going on yet. Uh, in time, it will. Uh, I was I was actually expecting it to have some blooms this year, but maybe it's because the roots weren't in soil. It didn't feel at home, and that way it didn't uh, put up any blooms. But maybe in this new growth here that's just starting. Maybe there will be a bloom spike in that because we're transplanting it now. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. When this blooms, I will show you and I'll be really excited and I'm, well, I'm excited to see this like this. It's going to be so much easier to water now. So anyway, happy growing everyone and uh, enjoy your orchids. They're not as hard as they look. We've got the soil mix here. It's pre-moistened. The last video I did, we, uh, we made this soil up and we put some water in it and it is perfect. Peat moss is 